Hey guys, it's Ouija Cal here, back with another pre-made setup video tutorial. Today I'm going over Pixelmon Reborn and how to set up and install the server side of Pixelmon Reborn. Today I am not going over the client side, so this won't be how to set up the Minecraft client or how to connect to the server at all. This is just setting up the new server that you just purchased so that you are able to have your client join. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. All right, and the first thing you want to do is purchase the server if you haven't already, and then you'll be able to download right here where it says download now. Go ahead and let that download. It does take a few minutes if you have slower internet because this is a modded server, it includes all the mods and such, so it's a bigger download than usual. But as soon as that's downloaded, we'll go ahead and move on with the next step there. All right, and as soon as you have it downloaded, go ahead and move it to the desktop. As you can see here, I already have, and we're gonna go ahead and right click on the folder and hit extract all. Go ahead and hit extract and let it load for just a few minutes while it extracts all the files and it should put them in a folder on your desktop. All right, and now that we got the folder here, go ahead and double click the Pixel Wonder Born folder and you should see the server files along with the link to the Discord, documentation, where you should get hosting for the setup, a quick readme and the terms of service. The main issue, what we need here, the main files are right in here. Go ahead and tap on server files and as you can see, Here's all the server files. Now what we're gonna go ahead and need to do is set this up to upload them to our server. So let's go ahead and pull up FileZilla and we'll get that all connected. I've already done a video tutorial on this before, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. But I am gonna do a quick rundown real quick just in case you're new and just wanna get this going. Go ahead and pop open FileZilla and then go ahead and hit these three little servers in the top left. It'll open your site manager. You're gonna wanna click new site and I'll go ahead and show you now where to set the information for here. We'll go ahead and pull up the hosting provider and you're gonna to go to your FTP settings. So this may be a little bit different. For example, here's my address and username and then it's my panel password. So that's what I have put in here, the user, the address. Make sure it's set to SFTP if you're using our hosting along with the port there is 2022. And then just your panel password if you hit connect that will connect you to the server. If you do happen to get stuck here, go ahead and watch the full in-depth tutorial I've already made. That'll give you a little more of where to get all these programs and exactly what's going on here. But now that we have it set up, the first thing we wanna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and delete all the files in here. We don't need any of them. It's just gonna cause us pain. So we'll give them just a second to delete, and clear out everything here. And now that it's gone, we're just gonna drag and drop all the files besides for the run. If you control click, it won't bring it. We, you can bring it, it won't hurt anything, but it's unnecessary. All the other files are needed. So we'll click and drag and it'll start uploading all of our different folders and files to the server here. So we'll give that usually a few minutes to let everything upload and we'll come back then. All right, and as you can see here, all the files uploaded correctly. Now I know it gets a little bit confusing for anyone not on our hosting, the server jar file that you want to be running is right here. It's called server.jar. I know there's a few of them and usually servers only have one, but because it's modded, there are multiple jar files. So the one you wanna make sure that you are running is server.jar. Now, if you're on our hosting, as long as you upload it and don't rename it, hey, it's ready to go for you. So we'll go ahead and bring up the hosting again. And now that it's all set up and installed, we can just hit start. Um, you may need to accept the EULA here. Um, you also may need to enter true. So if you enter true, it'll accept the EULA for you and then you don't have to restart it. And it'll take a few minutes to boot up and then the server should be able to be joinable with the IP provided to you. All right, as you can see here, I pulled up the Pixelmon server and it's ready to go. I also have the Pixelmon client ready, so we'll go ahead and connect to it. This is the IP for the server. And you can see we load in gives us the stuff. We're also asked to choose our first Pokemon and I'm obviously gonna choose Bulbasaur because if you don't choose Bulbasaur, what are you doing? And we'll go ahead and bring it up. I have the starter armor and it is all good to go here. All right guys, and that basically sums it up on how to get your Pixelmon Reforged server up and running there. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us at discord.premiersetups.com. We are online often just to help you guys out. Also feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe for our future video tutorials and maybe a few other things coming soon. Besides for that guys, as always, thank you all for watching. Luigi Cal out.